Hello everyone. I'm going to give insight as to the type of relationships I have. And I try not to swear in my videos, but this is what it comes down to. My life includes decent effing people. And when I say decent effing people, I mean people that are truly decent and kind and loving, compassionate. When you're down, they reach out and say, how you doing? I know you're in a tough spot. What's going on? I just wanted to follow up because I know you recently had surgery or, or I know you're struggling in a certain area of your life. I am friends with. And I am in relationships with decent, effing people. When you go through a breakup, an estrangement, etc., and the person that you, you loved with your whole heart is no longer a part of your life, that's tough. That's even tougher when it's an adult son or daughter um, who decides to disconnect. But the worst part of it in some situations is when they aren't decent effing people. It's one thing to break up with me or walk away, but it's another thing when you see me or you hear that I've had surgery, not to reach out and be a decent effing person. If your dad's dad, your grandfather passed away and you see your dad at a funeral and he's crying and hurting, a decent effing person would walk up and give your dad a hug and say, you know, I'm really sorry for your loss. But someone who's not effing decent will ignore that person's pain. And I just want to say, if you take a look at your life, Think of the people that are there for you in your time of need, when you're hurting, when you're struggling, when you're sad. Those are the people I want in my life. The people that surround me and say, you know what? It's going to be okay. Let's walk. Let's get up and keep moving. Let's cry, but let's get up. Let me help you. I'll give you a hug. Those are decent nothing people. And so that's what I wanted to say. If you want to know who you should have in your life, Make sure they're decent. Negates, abates, or get rid of anyone who's not kind, anyone who does not show sympathy or compassion or empathy. Those are the people you really, really, really have to keep at arm's length and not open your door to. No solicitors, no soliciting in my house unless you're a kind person. <laughs> That's it. No a-holes allowed. How much more simple is that? So I know it's hard when it's your own son or daughter that's not a decent effing person, but there's nothing you can do. You've raised them. They're out on their own. Freedom of choice. That's the way it goes. I hope this helps, and I'll be back.